Hi, Zan Squad. Today, I'd like to talk to you guys about what they were talking uh, this morning on the news, uh, Channel 2. And I try not to look at the, you know, the news too much because they have a, they put out this narrative out there. They have agendas. And they usually don't try to inform the general public about what's really going on. We have to do our own research these days. And I get a lot of my resort, my um, information from YouTubers, from pre from preppers, you know, very wise people who uh, they get they they get messages, receive messages from God, and they prepare, and they see things before they come. I know earlier this year. I was uh, listening to the preppers. That's how I found out about the virus. Um, I was listening to the preppers in Fe February. I've been listening to them for, well, I say like a couple of years now. And um, I listened to them in February and they was talking about the virus in China. And they was like, you guys need to get prepared because it will soon reach United States of America. And I started researching it and I started looking at those YouTube videos that was going on in Wuhan, China, and I'm like, oh my God, this is serious. And those people, unfortunately, were dropping like flies over there. And I'm like, wow. And the news was not even talking about it. I didn't even hear anything about the virus on the news at all. And the uh, preppers were informing us to prepare ourselves and to go out and get what we needed. They say, don't wait. Do not wait till the last minute. If you can get out the cities, get out the cities. Um, go and prep and get you enough food, toilet paper, supplies. So I'd already been a prepper. So I'd already had like basically by that at that point, I was only I had only been prepping all these years like canned goods, to be honest with you. And listening to the preppers, they were saying you're gonna need masks, you're gonna need this. I mean, I, they were running running it down of everything that we was gonna need. And I'm so grateful to God for these preppers. And um, I was like, wow. And it was expensive. I didn't really have the money like that, honestly, at the time. And and I was like, well, let me go and get whatever I can. <laughs> and so I was, you know, going to get the food, um, get more canned goods, get the to getting the toilet paper, getting uh, other supplies, uh, uh, ordering things off of Amazon and I went into um what was it Lowe's or Home Depot they didn't um have any N95 masks so I guess a lot of people had started you know they were getting prepared as well they was they had totally sold out of N95 masks so I'm looking for N95 masks couldn't find them so I just started getting um other types of masks I was going to the dollar store uh getting masks I was just then getting alcohol you know just getting certain things getting the, the cold medicines and it was very costly and um so Feb March came and the preppers were like, get ready. They're going they, they it's finally it's it, it is it has hit America, but they not the mainstream media is not telling you. So get ready, get everything you need because the stores are gonna be packed and it's it's not gonna be anything in the stores because it's gonna be panic buying. And when I tell you, when it finally hit the media and people start becoming aware of what was going on. Those stores, those lines and those stores were so long. I have some of the video footage because I was uh, videoing it. And I'm like, OMG, OMG. At this time, I didn't have any worries because I was already prepared. I didn't need to go out there and stand in a long line and get toilet paper and food. I mean, I had stacked up. I had got like big bags of beans, big bags of rice. When I finally went back into the grocery store because, you know, every week as a prepper, you want to keep going to get things. You know, especially when you've become aware and knowledgeable what's going on in the times that we're living in. I go to the store, those shelves would be empty. And I just thank God so much for the preppers. So back to what I was saying when I first started the video. I was looking at the news and they were speaking about all the different things that can occur during this election next week. And they were they were saying how outside interferences may come in with attacks, not just cyber attacks, with attacks on the grid. That way they attack our infrastructure, they attack our grid, that could compromise the system and the voting and, and also the tallying up of the ballots and, 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 and whatnot. And I'm like, oh, MG, I, it's been on my heart that they might attack the grid. And now they have finally talking about it on mainstream media. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about it. Get 
prepared the best way that you can. If you can get out the cities, get out the cities. That's something else the preppers mentioned this year. When they told us to get out the cities, I started contacting family members in the country and we went out to stay with them in the country and we still be out in the country with them. And they also prepared a place for us on their property in the country. We did this earlier this year in March and here it is approaching November come what tomorrow or no come uh, Sunday approaching November and this thing has gotten worse and worse so you guys go out there get the things you need don't wait for the media to tell you these things listen if you guys can share this video share it people need to know and people need to be prepared we're in for the fight of our lives and the only ones who are going to survive are those who are prepared if you're in Texas, there's land, there's land on my website for people who are looking for land in Texas. If you're other places and you're looking for land, you can Google uh, land for sale in such area or such and such area. And I always tell you guys, you don't have to get it from me. I just want you guys to get prepared. You know, we need to start growing our own vegetables. I also have a like, lot of non-perishables on danherald.com if you're like a lot of us who don't want to go out. I really don't like going out. I very seldom go out now. And then when I do go out, it's like I said before, it's like at a, to a grocery store or to go and pick up my mother's medications or to go and get some vitamins. And a lot of stuff can be ordered and some of it cannot. I try to do a lot of ordering, but then you, sometimes you need to go out there and put your hands on some things before it gets too, too bad out here. You don't have to get these things from me, but you need to get them. And you need to get prepared. Get you some alcohol. Get you some cough syrup. Get the things that you need. We don't know what might happen next week. Get you some candles. Get you some batteries. Yes, this stuff is expensive. It's very costly. But you rather have it than to not have it. I wish you guys the best. But get prepared now. Zanherald.com.